in Copenhagen and it compounded of 12 uh, short pieces. The uniqueness of this project is that it's framed by following some idea of Deleuze, some ideas of Deleuze or Deleuze and Guattari. Shalapos has been interested in their philosophy for a few years, studied their work and now try to apply or test their concepts and ideas in short films and music compositions. He's experimenting with the running lie series of repetition, creating and observing nomadic move on a journey of sound, waiting for resonance of different series in composition and expected events. Different outlines in this project run separately, parallel or in different directions. They are full of breaks, cracks, ruptures. And at the same time, they create unity though they, uh, through the invisible links. Additionally, Sharapovas did the investigation of every participating artist's perception of links between uh, different art in this project. Unfortunately, that is not still presented in any official form and was only mentioned in my interview with this author. His interview also gave me the access to investigate this project. During our conversation about sounds crystal and time crystal, the author put emphasis on the unexpected sound, which comes and disappears, which potentially is in composition, but we don't know then and in which form it appears. My main interest, main interest in relation to Deleuze is to investigate how does uh, Deleuze and Guattari mentioned of raw sound in what is philosophy stimulates the appearance of the art machine, vibration and clinches between different art lines in the composition silver dust. How much raw sound and how much sound modification during the sound editing deteriorates the refrain of composition mentioned in the Los and Guattari Thousand Plautos, and how does this machine erase the boundaries between natural and artificially modified sounds in music and produce glitches with dance and poetry? Is it the work of Dark Precursor, described in the Los early work, Difference and Repetition? And found sound could be analyzed and sound which potentially is but not audible being between presence and absence. A resigog interpretation of that is very well done using logic of sense and Kafka taught minor literature. I propose to understand and form sound in a broader way as unpredictably interrupting into musical composition sound from everyday, not organized and structured in musical sense Sound which comes into composition as a reminder about potentiality of sounds, their multiplicity and singularity. The infinitive series and potential being in university. It can be heard as noise, or heard though being inaudible. In Thousand Plateaus, Deleuze and Guattari say that quotation music molecularizes sound matter and in so doing becomes capable of harnessing non-sonorous forces such as duration and intensity. In discussion about the difficulties of uh, sound framing in what is philosophy, Deleuze and Guattari try to show how it comes to our sensations as framed. They describe characteristics of modern music philosophers and give an example of how singular thickness appears on sonorous play through Game quotation, the definition of the facet according to noise, to rule and complex sound in cage case, not only the enlargement of chromatism to other components of pitch, but the tendency to the chromatic appearance of sound in an infinitive continuum. It's an electronic and electroacoustic music case. Raw sound, noise, as well, uh, inaudible. Sound in silence have great importance in silver dust composition. During all the composition, we can hear sounds as rubbing surface, scratching of the floor, squeaking dogs, ringing, strange sound of all, all double baseball, etc. So, uh, before uh, uh, for the interpretation of this film, uh, I suggest you to 
For error or, or problem of uh, of audio sounding, uh, it's um, the idea of both uh, because the film is uh, is um, uh, prepared in two versions in Lithuanian and in English, and uh, his idea was in, in this English version version to mix uh, uh, the voice of translator with the voice of author of poetry. Actually, poetry is also very important in this in this film that I. I uh, will not give my interpretation in the, this time, I mean, next time. Um, another thing uh, which is important to say before my interpretation that uh, when I started to interpret this film, I have chosen a few pieces uh, where um, I felt that it's very important to think about uh, this raw sound which is coming to composition and uh, raw image or, or image, visual image. Uh, uh, behind the scene, but uh, then uh, then we um, yeah, see all the all the pieces. Uh, so maybe there is uh, some gap yeah, between uh, between this my idea of interpretation of a uh, few separate pieces. So sorry. Um, uh, now the uh, I will I will continue my my uh, text. So, uh, and, uh, Greg Redner in his book Deleuze and Film Music invites once again to rethink the links between film and music, um, image and the music theories, and to find any methodological bridge. But we are not looking for links between different methodologies. The cinema tool written by Deleuze gives some explanation on music and image using Ritternel and Galop rhythm and melody, sounds and times crystals. Thousand Plateaus, we is mentioned John Cage, who first and most perfectly deployed this fixed sound plane, which affirms a process against all structure and genesis. And also mentioned Godard, who it was quotation, also another quotation of Godard, who effectively carried the fixed plane of cinema to the state where forms dissolve and all that subsist a tenebration of speed between movements in composition. End of quotation. That uh, directs us onto a visual image uh, which lacks fixed plane as it lacks sound. So in that context, we're interested in the image mostly as unformed, presented as raw material, probing and filming image behind this scene. Uh, let's say image noise and how it relates to the informed, unformed sound, how it helps develop, develop pieces of composition till they come to the event and common rhythm. The link between common sound text and music and image is undeniable in the project. The lines of different arts are composed as different stories with a very fragile connection about them. While composition decomposes attention in different directions uh, and every art line runs rather independently, film keeps the observer's attention onto the wholeness. The sound <coughs> It does not illustrate the image, and only in some cases straight interconnection is distinct. Then we try to reveal separation, autonomy, and on the other hand, to find clinches, couplings, and closeness in vibration of characters. The reason thought about differentiation and identity is very helpful. So who is differentiated in this composition and under whose power is of releasing of power an event happens? Composition creates the resonance of all lines and consequently creates wholeness. In my opinion, there are at least two explanations on compositional arrangement and on characters arrange, rearrangement within composition. So I will skip uh, this compositional arrangement just uh, very uh, briefly. Uh, I, can, I can say that is, uh, the, the, the idea actually which follows uh, Sharapov, the, the author of project idea, that every piece starts from uh, the, let's say, house probing, uh, um, uh, tuning uh, of all, all arts, uh, um, tuning of instruments, uh, and let's say um, uh, start from territorialization, then comes to culmination, and after what uh, uh, the process of deterioration, then everything is splitting out, uh, calming, 
and uh, they, 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 be, before the new uh, piece. But uh, let's see, uh, maybe it's a, a simplified interpretation of uh, what is uh, going uh, on in uh, this uh, uh, project in every composition. My uh, uh, interpretation uh, is like that, about the, the rearrangement of characters, like uh, creation of ad machine of unformed sound. So in the second explanation, uh, which is the most important in our presentation, uh, we emphasize not on the external compositional arrangement, but characters from different art lines, which interact during the composition, come close and move away, vibrate and resonate in order to understand their movement and flow. It's helpful to distinguish unformed sound or noise in the composition, though, as Deleuze and Guattari state, quotation, the difference between noise and sound is definitely not a basis for definition of music or even for the distinction between mus musician bird and non-musician bird. While agreeing with this previous statement, we are talking about this distinguishment with a purpose to understand how later it helps to create this new space, noise and natural or loose outside sounds come to the composition unexpectedly and unpredictably and fulfill smooth space. For example, in the third piece, we, we hear cracking, taping, rapping, grabbing surface, grinding, also vibration of some, some sounds, which are not here, kind of silence, but feel they potentially are. So smooth space is occupied by intensities, wind and noise, forces and sonorous and tactile qualities, as in desert, step or ice, as state Deleuze and Guattari. Unformed sounds are welcomed into the composition. As Sharapova stated in an interview, then everything is said, and all harmony, rhythmic things step aside. There is nothing in front of you, the new prefix and intensity for creation approaches. And the pretext for that is raw sound. In wrong way, an old double bass sound, phone call, and sound of opening door is played. Strange sound includes outside that it does not include it. When it is not included, um, and these sounds are the cracks of a circle or refrain of the composition, a bridge to counterpoise, and a condition for experimenting with the intensity of frequencies, variation of pitch, timbre, and the rhythm in the process of digitalization. It seems that the noise and informed sound by intruding into the composition creates an ad machine which is not under control anymore. It inspires musicians and other project artists to react on this inter interruption as inclusivity. From this point of view, musically unformed, or in other words, raw sound, as well as probing image, raw image, in the beginning of every piece of the composition is more important for the development of the machine than framing the pieces into three compositional parts, as I mentioned before. That marks transversality of different characters. Variety of raw sound has its own way in this ad machine and creates couplings and divisions. Quotation sounds owes this power not to signifying or communicational values, which on the contrary presuppose that power, not to physical properties which would privilege light over sound, but to phylogenetic line, a machinic feeling that operates in sound and makes it a cutting edge of digitalization. There is another value. In this process, another quotation, it is necessary for the non-musical sound of the human being to form a block with the becoming music of sound for them to confront and embrace each other like two wrestlers who can no longer break free from each other's grasp and slide down a sloping climb. And that quotation. Non-musical sound of human being can be voice, but not necessary. It could also be other sound which comes with body movement, breathing, coughing as well as body encountering with the environment, wooden floor scratching while standing with an instrument of dancing, dusk weak noise coming through an open door. That comes naturally into the composition syllabus, letting that sound to be in a block of becoming music sound. It is recorded by the author and later is multiplied using montage and sound post-production. Unformed sound, literal is musical refrain, inside of music assemblage, literalization using cracks of unformed sound also comes to dance assemblage, 
performing according to the music, while poetry, with its very clear rhythm, tries to keep territorial line. I, I hope you noticed that uh, words are also very important uh, in the, this film, I, as I mentioned, and they, they, let's say, draw territory. It's very difficult to conquer with the, with the uh, rhythm of poetry. In the process of digitalization, unfold sound is a crack. In the situation of affectation, it could be treated as flesh, which leads to blocks of sensations, perceptions, and affects, using of cosmic forces. Deleuze and Guattari in that what is philosophy say, flesh is only the development, which disappears and that it develops, the compound of sensation. As we have mentioned, unexpected and unformed sounds inspire the performance team. So first of all, Sharapov is a react to the moment. Deleuze and difference in repetition mentioned that the moment, the one which is lacking in its places as it lacks its own identity, then he talks about that precursor. There is not very clear connection between flesh, which works in affectation, and work of that precursor, which is an event that different stories communicate and come to resonance, give an effect, both active with strong and visible forces, differentiation, capturing pre-existence, the moments stress different things, affects and affects. And form sound as the flesh provokes further work of end machine in the process of sound editing and montage. As the author in the interview said, he cries, low down text, poetry words, sometimes frames that in repeating series, he modifies music sounds into noise, he leaves a lot of visual noise moments in the visual image probing preparatory moments. Erasing or quieting of some poetry words in ad machine gives briefing to other sounds, music and additional non-music sounds. In the piece number two, tuning the instruments and demonstration of what is behind the scene gives us a message about multiplicity of elements, which are on and under the surface. Some are potential waiting for their appearance in the process of creation. Experimenting with unformed sounds and visual images lets them move from one to another assemblage, rupture different series, capture and lose sound in the middle of absence and presence. Consequently, sounds are held as the northern Guattari state in the extinction, production and development by the multimedia art machine and experimenting with different pitch, timbre and rhythm. Art machine with help of Sharapovas as a part of machine tries to compound raw, raw sound or noise within music assemblage and keeps connection with other assemblages of poetry and dance. Montage allows interconnection between raw sound in music and poetry and the image noise or fragmented split image opening condition for vibrations and couplings between heterogeneous elements as well as divisions. So we have the process of creation new interconnections and interconnections of different arts to characters in the assemblage while playing with sound and image modification. <clears throat> that happens in the process of becoming, becoming music, becoming art. From one side is the work of artisan, as Deleuze and Guattari say. Andrew Sharapovas comments his work with these words. It is a rounding idea as a ball, and from other side, environment, the encounter gives a product. So it depends on him as the author and producer of the idea and also on environment. But nobody knows that it happens, that it comes to the event, that all series will be unharmonized in one cosmic rhythm. That is the job of the precursor. It is very nicely expressed in the piece, Feel the Sound, piece number nine, where the mix of image fragments and repetitions is demonstrated as well as playing with text and sound. And that creates a kind of mosaic. Art machine displays and removes some characters in assemblage and multiplies some sounds, which might seem as noise, but reminds of sounds multiplicity and cosmic potentiality. Sounds move between chaos and cosmos. That happens through the effect in the process of editing, erasing all boundaries between raw and produced, music and non-music, natural and artificial, noise and music sound, and consequently compose 
visual image and image noise, fragmented image, all series of ads, music, poetry, dance, or in final production, audible and visible, communicate according to appearance of differences, which come unexpectedly. Then strange sound includes what is not included, and strange image, image noise, includes what is outside the seen image. These differentiation happen, uh, disappear in their communication and play, opening smooth space and creating vibration between different art lines, series. They exposed and hidden, the, the exposed and hidden characters and their resonance in another moment, then moment of flesh. Sharama was sent me, probably the lesson but then. Also, all, all of us would agree that all that quotation, however, would be possible only because the invisible precursor conceals itself and is functioning, and at the same time conceal the in-self or true nature of difference. That happens because of the displacement and disguise of the differentiator, which in our interpretation can be provoked by unformed sound, bringing up the potentially existent, expressed in a unique way singularity, just for one time, and on the other side, reminding their gradual compositional connection to the universe. Thank you. If there is one question, um, we can take it. How much time do we have? Um, until they pull the plug, it's uh, going to be 2 o'clock. They have a projection um, running this afternoon, but uh, we have uh, enough time for one question, and then we, uh, we pass to Stefan, that he's going to present uh, next. Can I, can I have two questions? Not really, just one. Okay, the first one is very simple. Is, is that the author of this film, is he at all dealing with your thoughts? Is it something the author of this film, or the people who were involved in it, um, did they deal with those questions you're interested in? Um, I don't think about other people who were involved in this film. Uh, I just uh, had interview of Sharap, who was the author of the project. Mm -hmm. And uh, why I said that he inspired me to think about this unformed sound or something uh, what mm -hmm. is coming into the composition. Mm -hmm. So we, we had an interview and uh, we were talking a lot. So mm -hmm. he, um, uh, I, I should say, he somehow is involved in, in this in this uh, all this uh, process of uh, my thinking and presentation. Then I try to think about the loss and uh, thought about uh, Sharapova's film and about how Sharapova's uh, understand the laws because he's uh, reading the laws. So there are, let's say, a mix of uh, different uh, uh, interpretations of the laws in thought. Second one, what kind of pleasure do you take out of, let's call it, applying the Lucian thought to this, this video? What is the pleasure you take? And I really mean it literally as a, as a, a, a normal modesty. Big pleasure. Can you describe that? I don't know. No, maybe, maybe it's not, uh, not, not this word. It just uh, um, then uh, the, the, the first time then I um, saw this uh, film that was uh, you know that it was, it was let's say discomfort to to watch uh, this film because it's uh, not, not easy somehow to, to perceive what is going on what it happens how to how to understand that uh, um, then you work uh, with the loss then somehow is uh, Everything, uh, you know, coming to its places to, let's say, um, harmonizes, and uh, it seems that it's uh, very, very good, very clear in this unclear position. So it's uh, this question. I know you said one, that was two. Is that time for one short one more? Um, I think, uh, okay. But uh, needs to be short. <laughs> um, uh, uh, so, so to me, it seems that everything that you say, whether it's uh, your uh, your interpretation or the uh, or the making.
maker's intention, what, 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 what is somewhere in there, uh, all of that makes sense and falls into place with what you say, seems to me to be somewhat in the background in this film, but in the foreground there's the accessibility, uh, both visually and in the sort of smooth jazz, uh, cool expression of a, a regular pulse, uh, music uh, that seems to be in the foreground for me. So somehow the uh, what you might describe as the difficult or the uh, the, the interesting, uh, more resistant material and editing and so on is, is, is somehow uh, like um, in, in the yeah, middle ground or background. Uh, somehow it, it's not quite in, in focus for me. But I can see all this fantastic work uh, and the angles, of perspective, and so on. But it's uh, for me, it's, it's so so accessible that I almost find that uh, suppressed a little bit uh, or undermined uh, it undermines itself a little bit. Uh, is it? Does it? I mean, <laughs> because you you describe it as a sort of a difficult or discomfort or something. And, uh, is that very present for you? Uh, Some of uh, my colleagues, for example, <laughs> who, who watch uh, this film, they say that it's, uh, uh, it's created in quite pop style, let's say. It's, mm -hmm. it's uh, uh, like a investment, it's not a uh, serious, uh, serious uh, product, serious move. Uh, I don't think so. I think that it's a big job, and, uh, and uh, um, yeah, you can find uh, different, different things, different lines, different. Thank you very much.